today. From Highmark Stadium in Orchard Park, New York. This is the National Football League. Josh Allen and the Buffalo Bills taking on Russell Wilson and the Denver Broncos. Autumn has come to upstate New York. Fall colors abound and we welcome you inside Highmark Stadium here in Orchard Park. Today we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Denver Broncos and the Buffalo Bills. And we are underway in Buffalo. And he opts to not bring this one out. The first drive will start at the 25. And the Buffalo offense ready to bring out their high-powered attack. And at the center of it all, of course, the rocket arm man in his fifth year out of Wyoming. Josh Allen. Buffalo gave Allen the most guaranteed money in league history before the start of last season, and boy, did he justify it by playing at an elite level once again, taking the Bills to 11 wins and another division title. Along the way, he threw for over 4,400 yards again and ran for 760 with 42 total touchdowns for a top five offense. They were knocked down in overtime throw against Kansas City in the playoffs, and they will be one of the favorites to win the AFC this season. First down catch there by Jamison Crowder, now in his eighth NFL season and his third team, this time the Buffalo Bills. There are plenty of mouths to feed in the Buffalo offense, but a dependable slot guy like Crowder will always get his share of receptions. And meanwhile, Allen's throw here taken in by Knox. And they're going to get this up to midfield. The first drive here and the first time that we've called the big tight end's name, but I, I can assure you this, Charles, it, it won't be the last. No, it won't, because when he gets going, now it opens up opportunities on the perimeter because that'll draw the defense towards him in the middle of the field. Now your wide receivers are getting involved as this game goes on. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. A play fake to Singletary, and now it's Allen. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Josie Jewell, the linebacker, getting the sack. He only gave them an instant to react. It was a classic case of if you blink, you missed him. Off of the line and to the quarterback in just a couple of seconds. Running back only had a moment to react and attempt to throw a block. After the sack here, second and 11. Now the first carry for Devin Singletary. And he's got it across midfield and into Denver territory. It's a gain of maybe three, but it's going to leave him with still about eight or nine to go on third down. Come to the line here, needing nine yards to pick up the first. Throwing is Allen on third. And that is incomplete. On third down, just flood the field with extra defensive backs in their dime package. Nowhere to go with the football. Forces the incompletion. A 
On fourth down, Matt arises, sent on to punt. K.J. Hamler deep for the Broncos. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. That punt was near perfection as it checked up inside the five-yard line. You never know where these things are going to go, do you? No. What was it? You got a John Heisman quote about that, yeah, right? Yeah, he said the football is roughly a prolate spheroid, which means it's going to bounce funny, and you never know where it's going to end up. They begin the drive with Williams. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. They go play action now, Wilson. Pressure comes and down he goes. That's Gregory Rousseau getting in there to bring him down. Anytime you sack Russell Wilson, that's a win for the defense. But to get him here on his opening drive of the ball game, that's a really big win for that defense. And the goal every week, keep him in the pocket. Don't let him get to the perimeter because when he's in the open field, not only can he hurt you, but also you lose sight of receivers downfield, and they'll hurt you with big plays. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. To try again after the sack. Wilson. That'll go for a gain of seven. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. We're backed up here. Tough spot. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. On third down, Wilson. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And that's exactly what defenses talk about. You've got to find ways to get off the field when you can, especially on third down. And third down defense going to be vital in this game. Able to knock that one away and force a fourth down. Fourth down, Sam Martin is on to punt for the Broncos. Isaiah McKenzie is back deep for the Bills. A big kick that time, 52 yards. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. So here come the Bills out for their second drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. He'll get 10 there all on his own, but it'll be second down. to throw. Oh, into a sea of defenders and intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. Before we came up to the booth, last thing he said as we were walking off the field, want to play mistake-free football. Well, that just went out the window there with a pick. And do you remember what you said to me when we were walking up to the booth after he said that? You're like, oh, Fatal last words every time we hear that. Things tend to fall apart a little bit, and that's what we saw there. Didn't get enough on that throw, and it turned into an interception. Two, 
Now a first down carry. It's Williams. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Second and eight. To throw is Wilson. Over the middle, complete to Judy. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Two, now Wilson. He'll get that complete to Alberto. So give him two yards there on the completion. And that'll bring up fourth down. Well, it looks like they got what they wanted. They got the completion, but they weren't able to break any tackles or gain nearly enough yardage to pick up the first down. Now to be fourth and short. They run. It's Williams. And he's got the first down as he gets it to the eight. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front, and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dancing for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. Here we go now on first and goal. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he is into the end zone for a Denver touchdown. Russell Wilson, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Broncos post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, we had the scoreless first quarter of play. We sure didn't have to wait long into the second quarter to get some action on the scoreboard. So was the first quarter a feeling out process? I mean, that was an interesting quarter, wasn't it? Because we had some action. We had some good play. Just didn't have any points. So now it's game on. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And he's got it. 7 nothing Broncos. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it was Russell Wilson finishing things off with a touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Now the Bills offense gets ready to head back onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes and get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. 
In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? On first down, they stick with Singletary. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Looking at a second and 11 now after the loss. Let's get off the field, Let's get off the field. From the gun, it's Allen. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Much like a running back going through the line, quarterbacks have to be aware of protecting the football as well. He left it exposed that time, wound up having it knocked free, but fortunately had an alert teammate who was able to get it. So possession still theirs, but now they face a third down. Here's Allen. Open man is Howard, the tight end. Two yards on the pickup there, and it'll be fourth down. Partner, I think that completion takes the definition of dink and dunk to a different level, doesn't it? It does, and the defense was right there, kind of played into their hands. And now on to punt this one away. And now a high kick trying to pin him back. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Broncos take over. First down and 10. Denver's offense now set to go. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. Tackle made there by Jordan Poyer. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Albert Okuebunab. But now it's third down. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Well, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right, they did something to disrupt that timing. Wilson. Open man. He completes it to Judy. And he will have a Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is a nice job of just taking what the defense is going to give you on third down. You're not looking for a big play downfield. You just want to find something that can get you past the marker. They found it and were able to keep the drive moving. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Wilson. Man open, he's got it. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Charles, to move the chains that time, they had to complete it into double coverage, and they got it done. And it's never easy overcoming multiple defenders, but he sure made it look simple. Found the right spot to exploit and won his one-on-two matchup. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. There's Wilson to throw. 
And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. To throw again is Wilson. He'll find Sutton on the right side complete. Five yards, now it's third and five. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. Wilson. And that will be incomplete. Well, the other day they told us when we've got third and five or less, we have to be able to convert. And I guess every team would say that, Charles, but an opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they liked some matchups that they had, thought they could exploit them, unable to do so on that play. On fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. turn and that's going to back him up to start the drive. He was trying to get the job done correctly just trying to clear a little space for his returner. Ended up getting a little too much jersey and hooked the guy hence the flag. Allen's throw taken in there by Crowder and able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds and that's good for a gain of six and it'll be second down. Here's Allen to throw it. Working the middle here. That's complete to Knox, the tight end. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. He was trying to get it to Davis. Picked off by Pat Sertan. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Bronco defense has a touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I, I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safeties for big nickel. They just wanted to take away the quarterback's throwing lanes, and that's exactly what they did and came through with a big-time pick six. McManus's point after is good, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Take it in at the three. And he brings this out past the 20 to the 24. Buffalo offense now as they get set to take over here. And a first half that really has not been kind to them. A late opportunity here to maybe make some inroads on this deficit before half. And this drive's going to go a long way towards telling us whether they actually have a chance to come all the way back in this game or not. That throw right side is complete here on the first play of the drive. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 
when you're struggling on the offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. So the shotgun snap to Allen. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Allen. That's caught by Gabriel Davis. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. And again, it's Allen. Out to the left, he's got his tight end, Knox. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Here's Allen on first and 10. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. D.J. Jones collapses the pocket and drops him for a loss of three. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So on second down, the field goal unit is on here as they try to get three before half. From the left hash, it's an even 50-yard attempt. And he missed it. It's no good. And this will remain a two-touchdown game. say that it's fair to say nothing has gone right in this first half for them even here you've got a chance to at least get on the board but that goes by the wayside and now this coaching staff they've got to figure out some way to wake this team up at halftime to get them going Six yards left on second down. They'll stay on the ground with Williams. So we have come to halftime in what's already a two-touchdown game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Back to you guys in a bit. But first, we welcome everyone to our EA Sports Halftime Report. This one has certainly been one-sided to this point. It's a two-touchdown difference as the teams have already come back out onto the field for the second half. So let's get you back out as well to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three.
Broncos with a lead, and they will be receiving this kickoff here as quarter three is underway. And no run back here as the third quarter will commence with a touchback. Here comes the Broncos offensive unit here as they'll have it first to begin this third quarter. So first and 10 here for Wilson and the Broncos at their own 25 yard line. Now Wilson. Boy oh, shifts past him. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Play action. It's Wilson. He's got his 6'5 receiver. That's Tim Patrick. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Second and short, that's a rundown, so it's definitely a good time to go play action if you're feeling it. And they do so and pick up a first down. So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 46. Up the middle, it's Williams. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. That's a good play by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. Held him to a gain of two. And that changes the playbook a little bit now for the guy calling plays. Second and eight. Now he's got to probably think about going to the air instead of maybe staying with the ground game. From the 44, Wilson. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. That sack by Tremaine Edmonds. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. third down they'll need to get it to the 36 to pick up the first now it's Wilson and he will slide to a stop he does have the first down got what they needed there the drive continues with a nine yard pickup it certainly appears that he's been able to get a read on how they've wanted to contain him in this game He's seen some places where he can beat them in big spots. And right there, he slides in with ease for the first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Former Badger, Melvin Gordon. Taron Johnson made the stop. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On right, second down, Gordon once more. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. We know Melvin Gordon is very effective getting to the perimeter, but being a former University of Wisconsin Badger means you know how to run the ball inside and with power as well. I also like the fact that he's a weapon in the passing game. Had as many as 58 catches in a season. Throw it to him in space and look out.
Now they'll throw it with Wilson. Completes the pass to Judy on the crossing pattern. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Well, coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. I don't think you can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination look pretty good. How about that? They, let's see if they let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. On second down, Williams. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Well, that was not what you would call straight line pursuit for a middle linebacker to make this play. He's got to work his way through the clutter to get to the ball carrier on the outside, and he does exactly that. That's called avoiding the trash. Try and run for it. Here's Williams. And he will have the first down before he's tackled at the 12. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. Well, this has been a long drive. In fact, it's eaten up a good chunk of the third quarter, which is precisely what you want when you're playing with the lead. You control the football, you control the clock, and impose your will on the defense. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Now a tenth carry. Here's Williams. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense get a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. The last run got six. Now second and four. They'll give it to Gordon out of the shotgun. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Three quarters in the books. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll look to make it three for three on third down conversions. They need a yard here. Now a give up the middle to Williams. And he will not only not get the yard he needed, he goes the wrong direction. Nothing doing there as the 13th play of the drive proves to be unlucky. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Fourth down, Wilson trots off and on comes Brandon McManus for the Denver field goal. The kick by McManus is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that almost certainly the final piece to this puzzle, a three-score lead. I don't think there's any coming back from there. But you know, normally I'd get on you for giving up on the game right here, but I do think you're right in this case. This late in the game, two scores is tough enough. Three, I'm with you. That seems out of the question. After splitting the uprights, McManus to kick it away. McKenzie will not return this, and it will be brought out to the 25. Buffalo set to get the football back here. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, 
both offenses have put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here, second and a yard from the 34. Throwing now is Allen. His throw incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. and again a completion and he's going to be taken down at about the 33 defensively here you've got the cushion but back to back pretty big pass plays there bend but don't break but are they bending too much I think that they are to me it'd be like playing basketball and you put up a token press make sure you get up there and make them eat up some time make it a little bit of resistance so they can't just run it right down your throat Joe, a first and 10 now in Denver territory. Down at the 33. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Isaiah McKenzie hauling it in. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Chains now, second and two. Now Allen. On the catch, it's Crowder. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. Flush to his right. Allen, nifty footwork. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight yard gain, second and two. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest gain we've seen on a scramble, but still some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. Throwing again on second down. Allen. All in all, no gain on the play, and it'll bring up third. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Bills football here as we get you reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. To throw, it's Allen. And this will be caught by his big wide receiver. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. 
Give him a gain of four, able to convert, and that sets up first and goal now. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Allen going to throw. Touchdown, Bills! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills are finally on the board here in the fourth quarter. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you kinda, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Extra point by Bass, up and good. And that'll cut the lead to Three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. And the Broncos are going to get the football. And that's why you have your hands team out there on the field. Those are the best guys ready to make that play. And let's face it. It was executed well. It wasn't a bad kick. It wasn't anything like that. Just that the normal outcome actually came to play. Analytics will tell you it's a very low possibility of getting the ball for the team kicking it in an onside kick situation. You're all about the numbers, aren't all you? All about the numbers, baby. It's a new game now. They don't lie. They'll hand it off now, Williams. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Now the Bills are gonna use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They run it again with Williams. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. third down here's Williams and some determined running there as he'll pin to the 12 yard line the Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down takes the knee. Fourteen yard line, second and eleven. It's more. And he'll be taken down here at about the eleven. They'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. By any time you decide to use your quarterback as a runner, most of the time when you design a play, you're expecting to break a little bit bigger than this one because when you run him on short gains, your risk-reward and him taking hits, I'm not sure that's the payoff they were looking for. The win for the Broncos, seemingly assured they go down to a knee. Charles. 
Charles, in these lower scoring games, you know it better than anybody. Uh, points are at such a premium, but taking care of the football is king. They play turnover free from whistle to whistle, and they come through with a victory. Yeah, and that's what won them the game because even doing it that way,